Hello, this is Luke from BaseGorilla.com and today we're taking a look at the Woosh Machine from Sonic Faction. The Woosh Machine is a crazy effects style synth that has been created by the guys over at Sonic Faction. And the first thing that you'll notice about it right out of the box is just how amazing it looks. I mean, look at that interface. It's absolutely stunning. So what I want to do to begin with is just play you the initial patch just so you get an idea of what it sounds like. So it's kind of a, a riser, that, that sound is anyway. But we have, if you look here in the menu, we have different effects. We have uppers, downers, and drones. So there's a lot of different sounds here. Let's take a listen to a couple of them. Here is one called Takeoff. It's an upper. Okay. Let's try a downer. This time I'm going to go with... I don't know, let's go with um, the Jeffrey. No, that's an upper, sorry. Let's go with Galapagos. So you can imagine making music and maybe you finish the drop and it comes to like an interlude or a middle section of your track where you want to give all those ravers a, a chance to chill out, catch their breath a bit. And, you know, playing a downer would work really well in that section. We also have drones. So if you want to hear some interesting background Atmos noises, check this out. This is Hellspawn. Sounds really nice, very, very high quality sound and can really make a huge difference to the overall atmosphere in your track. Um, let's play one or two effects. So I'm going to go with, let's go with Sandstorm. Awesome. So those are just some examples of the sounds in it. But what I want to do now is demonstrate the interface to you and walk you through how it works. So to do that, I'm going to go with the initial patch to begin with. And you can hear that that's taking a long time to get up to its maximum pitch. It's actually taking eight bars. And that's because of this rate dial down here. So we can click and drag that to make it take less time for example one bar much faster we also have the filter frequency here and look at look how cool that is when you move these dials look how they change really beautiful to look at real fun to play with you can adjust the resonance here And then we can adjust the morph, so you can morph between low pass, band pass, high pass, and notch. And we also have these hotkeys, so you can just click on these. There's band pass, high pass, notch. So those make it really easy to change different filter types on the fly. We also have two other hotkeys here, so we have up and down. And what these do is they change the envelope settings for the filter envelope and the pitch envelope. So let me just talk about that for a second. If you come into the envelopes tab here, you'll see that we have three independent ADSR envelopes. We have one that controls the amplitude of the sound, one for the filter, and one for the pitch. And here we have the ability to control the amount that those envelopes are going to act on the filter frequency and also on the pitch. And by clicking on the up and down hotkeys below there, you'll see that it's changing. So let's listen to it when I click on up and when I click down. How cool is that? Up. So it's, you know, it's the same preset, it's the same sound, it has all the same sonic qualities, but you're able to morph it and make it do different things. And, you know, not just the up and down hotkeys, we can go anywhere in between there. 
with the pitch and the filter envelopes independently of each other with these two dials here. So really awesome stuff there. We also have this super envelope here. Right now it's at its minimum setting. And what that does is it makes it go down to a much lower pitch. But when we're in hot, when we click on the up hotkey, so that the envelope positions of the filter envelope and the pitch envelope go to their minimum amounts, listen to what happens with the super envelope. That's on its minimum setting. This is on maximum setting. So it's taking those parameters and making them superized or making them a lot more extreme. And that works really well. The next thing I really want to show you is this pump effect. Right now, we don't have it activated. It's at its minimum setting, but as we boost, getting a little bit of pump there. Maximum pump. Okay, so you can see how the pump section works. So that's really nice to play with. Very simple interface and easy to use and very beautiful as well. Next thing I'm gonna do is walk you through these five tabs. So you'll see on the extreme left, we have the sources tab. And you'll see that each sound is comprised of noise, a synth sound and a texture. So for example, this sound here, If I want to adjust the noise level, I just click in here and drag up and down. So this is with zero noise. Slowly bringing noise in. And it happens in real time. Not only that, but we also have the ability to switch between different types of noise. If I just bring down the texture and synth levels, you'll be able to hear the noise types. So you can see how much control you get over each sound to just sculpt your own upper, your own downer, your own FX, you know, your own drones. It's crazy. It's really fun to play with as well. There's two buttons here. There's F and P. So what that means is whether we want to use the filter envelope and the pitch envelope on this noise oscillator. Okay, so now I'm going to bring the noise down and bring in the synth. Just play a couple of different synth sounds here. Almost like a siren there. So say if I like this particular sound and I want to mix in some noise. and then mix in texture. Switch between different textures. So interesting. Okay, so those that's explained the sources tab. Next, we're gonna take a look at the envelopes tab. You see we have the amplitude envelope. So obviously standard ADSR controls there that you can apply to the filter, the pitch, and the amplitude. In the LFOs section, you'll see that we have two different LFOs. LFO one is simpler and can be assigned to the amplitude. If I just increase the rate here. We can assign it to the filter. Let's bring the filter frequency down. Bring the pump down. Okay, and you can assign that to pan as well. 
can get some interesting stereo effects there. And also the pitch. And then LFO2 is more complex. We can actually assign that to any parameter within the synth. And you can see there's a huge list of options there from this drop down menu. We also have the ability to control the phase, the jitter amount, and then smoothing and the offset. So a lot more control with LFO2. Effects, if you want to introduce some frequency modulation to your sound. Can you hear how the timbre of the sound just changed? And that's a sine wave modulating the frequency of that sound. So let's go with a different waveform. I'm gonna choose a saw D. We can change the pitch of that And we can control the attack, decay, sustain, and release of it as well. In addition to frequency modulation, we also have other effects such as ring modulation. It works really well on those effects. We have bit reduction. Reverb, obviously. Now, a lot of these sounds sound great with a very long and dense reverb. And you can really dial that in in terms of the room size, the time, and the reverb dry wet amount. And we also have the filter sweep function here. And then delay. If you want to add some delay onto your upper or downer or effects, then here is the place to do it. And then the presets window. So within the presets window, you'll see that we have the drop down menu that allows us to select from different FX, uppers, downers, and drones. We also have the preset morph matrix here. So you can choose different presets that might contrast and work well together and assign them to different positions in the morph matrix. So let's experiment with different drones. Here's choir teachers. And if I click on this one here, it's assigned it to position one in our morph matrix. Next, let's choose desolation. And we'll assign that to position two. Next, we'll choose cello, assign that to three. And finally, we'll choose hellspawn and assign that to four. Here's hellspawn. Okay, so some very different sounds there that should work well together. Now, if I click on different positions in the Morph Matrix to change the position of the crosshairs, you're going to hear different combinations of these sounds. So if I click here, and if I click here, let's try here. And finally, let's try clicking here. So this is a super nice, fun, and easy way to get some crazy control over your effects that you want to add to your song, especially whooshes, uppers, downers, so on. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope you can see the power of this synth and recommend you to check it out on the Sonic Faction website.